was once the foundation that built many communities in northeastern and central Pennsylvania. But when some mines closed, it left some of those areas depressed. Newswatch 16's Elise Nieves tells us what some lawmakers are proposing to help stimulate the once thriving communities. There are reminders of the Wyoming Valley's coal mining past here in Luzerne County, like this smokestack and coal car at the former Huber Breaker in Ashley. Everyone was making money. The uh, breaker employed about 1,700 people. Ray Clark grew up here. His father worked in the coal mine, and he even delivered coal. He saw the coal community at its best and its worst when this mine closed in 1976. It was difficult for people, and uh, I know a lot of people had to leave town. Leaving areas like Ashley still struggling decades later, something some federal lawmakers are now trying to change. We're in the business of coming up with a solution to help economically depressed uh, former coal communities like most of northeastern Pennsylvania. Congressman Matt Cartwright is getting ready to make a proposal that would change an outdated federal royalty rate current coal companies have been paying the government for 40 years. They're basically underpaying what their lease payment should be. We fix that, we're going to have a lot more revenue. This meeting was held near Pittston with local community and business leaders to discuss ideas for how this potential new money could be used. Part of Congressman Matt Cartwright's plan is to increase coal companies' royalty rates to a fair market value and then use that money to help former coal communities like here in Ashley. As much as uh, half a billion dollars a year could come in through this proposal. The potential legislation is still in its early stages. Congressman Cartwright is gathering information to draw up a bill. Alicia Nieves, Newswatch 16, Luzerne County.